see the next question how is corollary manufacture by decon's method okay there's nothing in this only simple concept you have to remember is whenever decon's method is given to you just think uh, the sentence which should strike your mind it is uh, oxidation of hcl that's it so decon's method is basically oxidation of hcl or catalytic oxidation let us write that catalytic oxidation of hcl okay which is oxidizing by atmospheric oxygen by atmospheric oxygen so what are we going to do we are going to take hcl and i'm going to add oxygen that is atmospheric oxygen to this now then what am i going to do here i'm going to take four moles of hcl done so it's basically uh, like your hcl hydrogen glass hcl and hcl okay just to show it to you now here you're going to get chlorine gas out first chlorine done so how many chlorines i'll pick, pick. two to the four are over done so what else is left you're left with your hydrogens done your hydrogens would come out with oxygen as water how many hydrogens do we have you have four so what so two oxygens two oxygens four hydrogens four and that so simple logic now i said catalytic oxidation here the catalyst which is used is copper chloride cu2cl2 and the temperature which we are going to use here okay so ucl2 the temperature which we are going to use is 723 kelvin so under these conditions your chlorine gas is prepared so this is your decon's method catalytic oxidation of hcl by atmospheric oxygen try to take four moles directly so it's easy to give get that chlorine gas and water and under a catalyst and the temperature right let's come back and solve one more question which is related to your chlorine very interesting question but there's nothing in this question let's read this uh, how can you prepare chlorine from hcl and hcl from chlorine write the reactions okay now they've given us to prepare chlorine from hcl okay chlorine from hcl okay and hcl from chlorine both are very easy actually so whenever you have to prepare chlorine gas from hcl we are going to use a catalyst that is manganese dioxide remember so uh, there's actually the role of manganese dioxide until now it, there's a confusion whether it acts as an oxidant or a catalyst here i'm going to take it as a catalyst just see try to use mno2 as a catalyst done to this i'm going to add i have to prepare chlorine from hcl isn't it now try to add hcl done here i'm going to take four moles of hcl so how is this if i take four moles it's like this see hcl 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 and hcl first thing mncl2 comes out the leftover chlorine comes out as chlorine gas now what are we left with we are left with hydrogens isn't it now how many one two three four so comes out as water molecule so how many already four are there so two so two oxygens here two hydrogens here done chlorine two plus two four are over and this now uh, when i have to uh, see is there anything to balance manganese is balanced done mm, okay oxygen oxygen is balanced done hydrogen is balanced done to two so four and chlorine also is balanced so this is your chlorine from manganese dioxide now if i have to come back to the next reaction hcl from chlorine they said that means i have to prepare hcl so that means i have to pick up chlorine in excess i'm going to add hydrogen to this yes. <coughs> simple hcl nothing because why did i write this reaction most of the students get confused this is this chlorine from hcl so from <coughs> the reactant hcl from chlorine uh, your hcl uh, chlorine is a reactant here chlorine is a product here chlorine is a reactant 